Hey guys, thanks for checking out the spirit wall. So I'm gonna quickly go over how to use this. Uh, we shot this in my studio and I edited it so that it looks like a spirit coming through a wall and then you can use it like an overlay. So um, we just control A, control C, and then whatever image you have, I would imagine you would have, you know, maybe take a picture of someone you know sleeping or you wanna create a scary scene or whatever. Um, you just control V to paste it in. And don't worry about this, you won't have this. I have an embedded profile in my um, system. And then you can just move it where you want it. Now you can use a couple different blend modes. I did leave the ground on this in case you wanna blend this um, it, this actual um, baseboard in. But um, so there's a couple different blend modes depending on the color. I'm gonna use screen on mine. You could use multiply which darkens it but you could also reduce that depending again on your scene um, and then soft soft light or hard light is another depending again on the scene and what you want to do so I'm going to use screen and then I'm going to um, go into levels and I'm just going to clip a levels layer to it and I'm going to mess with the levels until it blends with the actual scene and you can also mask it off so that really helps blend it in. Um, but if you don't want it to, um, if you want it to stand out a little more, you could add like contrast to it. And then you can also add a mask to it and mask it off so that you don't have to, you know, um, duplicate it, but you can also duplicate it. And now let's say we want to move, we want to take this and move it over the bed, like the spirit's coming out of the wall here, um, or you wanna flip it so it's the light matches up. And then you can control J and duplicate it if you want as well. And then you can also, let's say that um, we want it to, it's already gray, so it'll match with a lot of your um, scenes, but let's say you want to, um, to match it, like see there's a lot of blue here, you could add a color balance layer to it and blend it like that so that it just is more part of it. You could have an open closet and they're coming through a closet. Um, and again, if you don't wanna clip the layers because it's not, you're not gonna to have to do that for every one of them. You can just simply mask it like this. And then you could use curves. Oops, not a vibrance. You could use curves to darken it and play with that. There's so many different ways. If you want to make it more contrasted, I saw a little piece pop up here. Um, but it, it, since it's gray, it should work with so many different um, potential scenes as well. And you can just play with your adjustment layers until it matches what you're going for. Um, so anyway, I love Halloween and I am, I've actually been working on a ton of different Halloween uh, backgrounds. And this one I started working on probably before the summer hit. <laughs> Just forgot about it. So here it is. It'll be in the shop and I can't wait to see what you guys do with it.